Finding really bad fakes in the local flea market? Let's check it out. So this past weekend, I went to yet another local flea market, and this time I was searching for some fake Funko Pops, and this did not disappoint. I found some really, really bad fakes. Like, they're so fake, they're laughable. So I decided to pick up a few, and I'm gonna compare them to the real Pops uh, that I have here of the same figures, pretty much the same boxes. So we're gonna go through those so you can see how bad these fakes really are. All right, so as you can see here, there's just a ton of knockoff toys. We're gonna just look at these fake Pops. We got a four pack here of Stitch, then uh, another four pack of Stitch down below with some Hello Kitty, some Sailor Moon. There was also stuff that just didn't look like Pops at all, uh, but they had the Pop branding or that fake Pop branding. Um, but they had so many different ones here. Uh, in these four packs, they also had single packs, as you can see here. So we're going to grab a few, bring them back, and take a look at how bad they really are. All right, so the first set of fakes I picked up was actually this four-pack of One Piece Pops. And this this is just really bad. It's, it doesn't get much worse than this. You can just feel it. The box just feels terrible. The names are wrong. It says... It says Ace, Brooke, Monkey D. Luffy, and Zoro. But when you see inside the pack, that is not the characters that are actually inside here. It is missing the Ace and the Zoro. Uh, again, just super, super fake. The box is, looks terrible, feels terrible. Um, and of course, anyone that knows the Brook and the Lawn here are actually huge grails in the Funko community. So that's automatically assigned to anyone that these are terribly fake. Uh, we're going to compare this right here to a legitimate four-pack of One Piece Pops. So as you can see, this right here is the legitimate four-pack next to the fake one. You can just see the difference in size. Uh, the fake one is much smaller. The real one, the box construction just looks so much better. The box art looks so much better. Uh, the top of the box, you can see there's a window on the real one, the fake one. There's just no window. It just says, you know, One Piece with that fake Pop logo. Uh, when we when we turn them around and we look at the bottoms, you have all the Funko information that you're used to seeing. And then on this one, it's just their barcode and then just, you know, just more shoddy artwork and shoddy painting. Uh, looking at the back of the box, the artwork here, it has all these characters, um, but not the ones that are in the box, all of them. Then the real four pack has the four characters, four characters that are actually in the four pack. So as you can see, the... The box is just so much different. You can see the quality is just so much worse on this fake uh, one piece box. It's just, it's really bad. And you can tell right away how bad this fake one is. All right, but now I want to get into the actual figures inside these boxes. So here I have a legitimate Monkey D. Luffy. And I also have a legitimate Tony Tony Chopper. These are the, the newer releases. Um, the re-releases with the, the blue barcode. But still, just for looking at the figures, this is exactly what we need to go through. So we're going to take out the fake ones first, then we're going to take out the real ones so you can really get a look at them. So first of all, this box is taped, and it opens from the side. So that's, that's something. All four figures are going to slide out. So we're going to take out the Luffy and the Chopper. Here they are. Luffy and Chopper. We'll put Brooks and Law to the side. So let's see. Right away, you could just you could just tell the feeling is way off. They feel very cheaply made, cheap plastic. There, the paint job is is horrible on these. Just really, really bad off the bat. You can just tell immediately that these are not good quality. But let's take out the legit ones. All right. So Tony, Tony Chopper, right away. The actual pop is much bigger in size, much bigger. Um, the paint job is, is definitely better. The colors are different. You can see here, he's got the tan on his shirt. On this one, he's got the red on his shirt. Uh, the, the hat color, look at the hat on the fake one. It's just all messed up the paint job compared to the actual Funko figure. He's definitely bigger in size, has the stamps on the bottom of the feet, unlike this one. Just if, if you know what you're looking for, immediately you can tell that these are just much lower quality compared to the, the real Funko Pops. So that is Chopper. Let's go with 
Luffy next. And now we got Luffy. Once again, much bigger in size for the real compared to the fake. And just, again, the paint job is so bad compared to the real one. This is just, just such a shoddy paint job. It's just so bad. But I paid, you know, I think for that four pack, I think I paid $10 for the entire four pack. And you can see why. It's so cheap. So here you go. That's Luffy real, Luffy fake. You can just take a look at them all around. Just not even close. The color on the hat is pink. The color on the real one is red. He has the, you know, the, the scar X on his, on his chest on the real one. Completely missing on the fake. And just, just the colors all just, they just seem so washed out on these. Um, compared to the, the real one. I also did pick up a fake single pop as well. And that is this one, the Kuromi. The Hello Kitty and Friends. Here is the faked. The box again just feels so bad and so fake. There's glue on the window. The bottom is just not great. The font on the front is bad. We're going to compare it right here to a real one. So there you go. O almost the same. Um, I know they do make real ones with the Karomi text on the top, but this is what we have here. So you can tell just which one is fake, which one's real, just by looking at the boxes, the bottom, all the Funko, has the, the Funko barcode, all the stuff you look for. This one pretty much has none of that. There's the top. The pop logo again is just so bad compared to the real pop logo. The fonts again are, you know, way off. Everything about this just looks bad. This one just says again, collection value on the side, not even the name of the character. So really bad here. And here's the back of each box. And now we'll take the figures out. We'll start off with the, the fake, once again, taped shut. The box is also ripped. This is, this is not great. Here is the real. So here's the real and the fake. Now for these, to be honest, the sizing isn't much different. Not much different in size. The real one is a little bigger, but you could just tell it's just a much more solid figure compared to the fake. The fake is just, it's moving all around. It just feels light and shoddy. You could squish it like very easily compared to the real one where you really can't do that. Um, again, the colors, especially on the details in the dress just seem super washed out compared to this real one here. So definitely the quality. People people like to say Funko's quality control is really bad, but when when you want bad quality, this is this is what you get. These fakes are exceptionally bad quality. It's it's really it's laughably bad. But yeah, so this is Karomi fake and real. You can easily tell the difference. I think I paid like four bucks for this fake one. So this is what we're looking at for a Karomi fake versus real here any real collector can tell for sure but you know this is I think the the main people they try and get with these are like you know families with their little kids they don't know the difference they just see the character they want it so that's I think that's the the main objective of these so yeah this is basically what I did with my Saturday at the flea market I was able to find some really bad fake Funko Pops to bring back and show to you guys and compare it to the real ones uh, like I said, I think the main objective of these is to just sell to families and little kids who really don't know the difference between fake and real and the kids just want the character. They're super cheap. But again, you can tell right away just from the, the coloring, the boxes, just how bad they really are. Even the plastic inserts on the inside just feel super cheap, super cheap and super fake. Um, and again, I have them all lined up here for you to take a look at again. But yeah, these are just as fake as fake gets. Um, but if you guys have found any fakes out in the wild, let me know in the comment section down below which fakes you found and if they were really good or really bad. Because I do know there are some fakes out there that can almost pass as real Funko Pops uh, if you're not uh, a keen eye and know what you're looking for. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you found out there uh, as far as fake Funko Pops. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you don't want to uh, miss any videos like this in the future. I hope you guys really enjoyed. But as always, thanks for watching.